Oh, I just arrived. I think the first adventure for now is finding a restaurant that's still open. My internet hasn't been working, so it's a real adventure. Here we are at 3 past 12 o'clock. I just got some food from this place called uh, Gad. Gad. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock, I'll be going to the pyramids with a group of new people. All of them were super cool and when we were outside of the pyramid we had a choice are we gonna go in or are we gonna stay outside the tickets are not the cheapest but we decided it was worth it it's a once in a lifetime experience i'm walking into the pyramid this is Jao. Yes, yes. I, uh, Hello. we met each other on the tour Conclusion, there is nothing outside. If you ever go there, look at the beauty. You have to enjoy them from the outside. Egypt, we have 114 pyramids. A lot of bad things happened during 2020, but because it was so quiet, it was a great time for us to take some awesome photos. Hey, babe. Also a pro tip here, don't take the local transport. Even on a walking distance, you can find things like the Grey Sphinx. It's so close to each other. So this is pretty cool. You can walk from the Pizza Hut in KFC. It's like literally like a five minute walk to the swings. So ignore all those scammers. People really try to rub you and take your money. And even for the swings, it's not that special. If you go underneath, you can have a little wander around, but it's probably not more than a five minute thing. So we continued our journey and went to the market and got some food. Bon appétit, guys. Uh, thank you. Personally, this is my favorite pyramid, the Pyramid of Djoser. It's the oldest one, it looks so iconic. And around it, there's a couple of more things to see and you can take some cool selfies. And then when you're walking close to it, there's even another pyramid where you can go inside. Just the whole experience, we're here with the whole group. Hello. <laughs> it almost looks like it has, has been there for much shorter. Apparently, this is lasting a couple of thousands of years. <laughs> uh, going back to... Yeah, looking at your ass the whole way. <laughs> My non-existent ass, I would say there isn't so much. On the way back, it struck me how disgusting things are and there's litter everywhere. So the guide explained a little bit about it. Here, for sure, in this small well, village, they are not, no. not well educated enough to uh -huh. the garbage. Up next, it was time for some music. Hello, back from Cairo. We spent the whole day with the pyramids and now we're gonna get a quick snack. We're being filmed right now at uh, Embratur Kepta. Um, we, we have no idea why they're filming us, right? It's for Google or something, or Facebook. Why, why are we being filmed? Uh, I feel good. You feel good, yeah. as you should, I like that. Embratur Kepda. Hey, can, you, can you point out to me which order you're trying to uh, do? First it's upside down. It's upside down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is falafel. It's a hello. It was recommended to us by the, the guy on the hotel or someone and TripAdvisor also. <laughs> oh shit, what's with the light there? I didn't realize I had that. The music, the elevator. We love the music. In Egypt, you will find dogs on cars. His, his eyes are illuminated. I was this telling him that we should start the Instagram know, of like one, dogs on... This is sun o'clock. Ah. ah. This is sun diet. Oh, that's really cool. Did you know that? No. No, he did things every... every time. <laughs> so basically, this is what defines the time they break. And he changes every day? Yeah. According to the sun. So. So we're at the Muhammad Ali Salahuddin Mosque and Carolina just had a conversation with a girl who is wearing a hijab about women's words and women's empowerment. She said the people that use this, this is stronger. Well, because our best, it's because you really have to put over all your body and live your life like this. Lady Gaga. No, it's not easy. I have my information, I have to read first. And we can see about the hijab. 
Yes. But we know about the hijab. It's being a difference of being a rose or a pearl, right? Well, not really. <laughs> use this is a decision. The women that use this are more strong. That's they really the decide to cover all the things that are not really the uh, essence of yes, the woman, yes. you know? But Sorry, uh, maybe you could say, when did you guys meet? <laughs> That's totally related to that. So, wherever we go, everybody thinks we're like Brazilians and Argentinians, right? Adios, Hasta vista! After a long day of exploring, it was time to relax. We got invited by a friend of Carolina on a boat. Salud! 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 So this is day three of my trip. I met these lovely guys. Thank you. I met an Emmer on uh, couch surfing, and look who's here today again. Hey, <laughs> Egypt, old town right now, and this place behind us is actually the only uh, place both Sunni and um, Shia people pray together in the in the Arab world. So I think that's that's pretty cool. Not a clue what it is, but I really like these puppets behind. Uh -huh. <laughs> Egyptian puppets. This mosque is from uh, 1125, still active today. In the bazaar right now, yes. it's getting a bit darker. <laughs> What's the name of the bazaar? Khan Khalil. There you go. I, I wouldn't be able to pronounce it Khan, as good. Khan, Khan El Khalili. Khan El Khalili. Yes. Where is uh, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad uh, inside the grave? What is going to start after 100 meters? Uh, it's a traditional market of, uh, of Cairo. Everything there is very, 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 very cheap. Egyptian prices? Yes, Egyptian prices. Yes. <laughs> okay, if you want some good fragrances, this is the shop to go, okay? <laughs> very good. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> it will take a while before it's online. Okay, this is now the more Egyptian uh, part, so less touristy, I guess. Why, why is it? What is the difference? It's here, here everything is cheap than the other, but the other part is for touristics. Okay. For tourists, oh, so, uh, you start with Shakira again. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, really, Shakira? Why is everybody calling you Shakira? I don't know. I don't have idea. <laughs> really, believe me. Drop something, my friend. Drop something. I'm going to rub my heart again, please. Oh. <laughs> it's a very good price. Look the price, not bad. My no, God. <laughs> I don't know if that's on tape. This, uh, this shop? So it's really funny, as you walk here to a much less touristy place, you can just see everybody's waving, everybody's saying hello, it's, it's pretty cute. People just don't see tourists, yeah. Very lively area of Cairo. What is this area called? Al Ataba. Al Ataba. Al -Ataba. It seems it's not very touristy, is that yeah. correct? It's, a, it's, a, it's the biggest local market in Egypt. Biggest of all Egypt. Yes. Okay, it's very cool. It's very nice if you want to get a little bit more of an authentic feeling of the Egyptian lifestyle. There's people everywhere. It's definitely nice if you're up for a good buzz and have a nice market with basically anything you want you can uh, you can buy here. <laughs> It's so nice when you go alone on holiday and you meet groups of people. <laughs> it's the best way to travel. New friend here. Yeah. Why, why is there a rocket on the table? <laughs> this is uh, like um, to broken your dizzy. And when you are dizzy, you can do it like this. It's make me make yourself a stable, not dizzy. And and the fava beans. What? And why are the beans there? It's like this also. It's like to um, snacks. Okay, snacks. And, and they're. The reason being is because if you look at it, everything here is sold by the by the bottle. Yeah. So if you have, you can order like a bottle of vodka. It's crazy. So yeah. yeah. So I'm in Cairo still, and look who I met up with. Again. 
Third, third night, second night, how many nights have you I spent with you? You cannot get <laughs> enough of us. I don't even know where we're going. Where are we going? A beer and then some shots. Al Orea para unas birras o cervezas. Ah, birras. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>